So, when you're choosing a statistical test, you need to figure out whether your independent variable is t for 2, f for few, or whether it's r for relationship, for example. You also have to think about your dependent variable, because the nature of your dependent variable also matters. I'll give you an example. If you're running an ANOVA or an F-test, you know that part of what's being assessed is deviations or differences, and that the distances between different numbers are, are equal. They're meaningful, right? And the same is also true for a t-test. It's differences between means. And it's, it's on a number line where the distances are meaningful and equal between the scores. That only works if your dependent variable is measured as a scale variable. It has to either be interval or ratio. So I'm just going to ask you, think about it. What if you have apples, oranges, peaches, and pears as your dependent variable? How are you going to put those on a number line, compute a mean, and compute your deviations, and figure out mean squares? You're not, because you can't do an F-test or an ANOVA on nominal data. It has to be at least interval or ratio. It has to have those equal intervals in between items. So for the DV, it has to be a scale variable if you want to do an F-test or a T-test or compute an R because equal distances between items matter in these computations. In contrast, there may be studies where your dependent variable is nominal, apples, oranges, peaches, pears. That's fine. The only thing is you can't run these kinds of tests. You would need to run, for example, you could run uh, a couple kinds of chi-square tests, which we'll cover later. Okay, so don't worry right now about what chi-squared is. But just know your DV has to be a scale variable if you're going to run F, T, or R on it.